Hello everyone and welcome back to Mass Effect 2. In the last session we got best boy Garrus back on the team. He was moonlighting as Archangel and uh, we had to go in there, we had to defeat the gangs that were trying to take him down and uh, he got pretty badly shot up. Not by, not by a regular gun, but by an actual plane jet thing. <laughs> I can't remember what the, what the right word was for it. Uh, but it's okay, he's alright. Uh, and we have we've got him we've got him back on board safe and sound and now we also had a data pad that we found there uh, where we were seeing that people were looking to overthrow Arya and uh, so we can now go take that data pad to Arya and uh, let her know that uh, people have been people have been plotting against her but I mean we kind of took them all out so hopefully that gets us points right <laughs> like points with Arya. She'll be she'll be our best friends now, maybe? Because we have secured her reign? <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. Maybe she'll just be like, what the fuck are you telling me for? They wouldn't have managed it anyway. Because, like, I feel like they may well not have managed it anyway. <laughs> um... Right. I guess it makes the most sense to bring Garrus and Morden, seeing as they are the two uh, from Omega. Uh, right. I am saving up for charge level 3. Uh, Mordin, I'm saving up for Cryoblast 4, I think? Multiple targets. Uh, yeah, it was probably, I think I was going for multiple targets. And... Garrus, my boy, have not done anything with you. So you've got concussive shot. Is that the same thing... Is that the same thing Zaid has? I think Zaid has concussive shot. Or, or something similar, maybe. Uh, propels enemies with bone crushing force. Yeah. So we want to get a couple of that overload. Uh, actually, does, does Zaid. Are these the same as Zaid's? I feel like Zaid might have those two as well. Or am I. No. No, he doesn't have overload, I don't think. I don't know. I'm forgetful. Whatever. Uh, overpower shields and synthetic enemies. So that's pretty good. We'll get a couple of that. Uh, and here we have his normal stuff that gives him health, damage, all that jazz. And he's not loyal. Garrus, you're not loyal to me? How fucking dare you, mate? After everything we've been through. I know it's just like a game mechanic thing, but, uh, <laughs> feels bad. Feels bad to see it just be like, yeah, Garrus is not loyal to you. Yeah, nah. <laughs> Even though I, I get it's like we're going to have to turn turn him loyal somehow. I don't know. I don't know how friendship meters work or whatever, but, and don't, don't tell me. I'm sure I'll figure it out as we go, but, uh, it's probably just from talking to them a bunch or something like that. But, uh, yes, we will, we will have to get that at some point, uh, but for now, let's go couple in there, couple in there, or at least one in there. Now we could go max concussive shot, blasting enemies off their feet, uh, or not. I think multiple enemies is always going to be like best, right? At least a lot of the time. Overload. What what actually changes with this? Is it? It's just shield and synthetic damage goes up, and then eventually overheats their weapons too. Eh. Maybe we should just go for it. Maybe we should just give him big old, beefy concussive shot. Maybe not actually. <laughs> eh. Overload now briefly stuns synthetic foes if their resistances are down. Interesting. Uh, you know what? Okay, let's do that and let's give him a bit of health and stuff. Well, do we think he needs it? He's going to be, he's, he's a sniper, right? He's going to be staying back predominantly, I would think. You know what? Let's not. Let's save up and get uh, that for the final one. Sounds good. Sounds good. All right back here again. I think we are almost Don't done with Omega now. The plague has been completely eradicated, Shepard. Good, good. I have also run searches for reports on Archangel. 
The various mercenary groups appear to believe that he is dead. Optimistic Sponge. <laughs> Very optimistic bunch, those mercenary groups. Ah, yes. We sent all of our mercenaries there. All of our mercenaries died. Probably means Archangel was killed, right? <laughs> Very optimistic. Uh, who was... Oh, hello. Who is... Do I know Gavorn? So, I heard a human went into the plague zone. Then I found out about a lot of dead Vorcha down there. You know anything about this? Oh, they're, uh... <laughs> I guess they're, they're mad that a whole bunch of people have died. Uh, no, man. I, I, I have no idea. Dead Vorcha? No. Don't know anything about that. <laughs> uh-huh. Right. Well, my job just got a whole lot easier. What do you do here? What's your job here, exactly? I'm supposed to keep the Vorcha in line. Keep them out of Arya's sight. That's about it. Not much for me to do anymore. But the way those Vorcha breed, I'll have something to do soon enough. What are they up to? There's an awful lot of Vorcha here. What are they planning? Vorcha? Plan? <laughs> They're a pestilence, nothing more. If they started planning, we'd all be in big trouble. <laughs> Alright. I'll just be going. Keep up the good work. You're welcome, I guess. Come on, let me in. Man, that guy's Are been trying to get in for so long. That poor dude. Wait, my team met. Oh, there they are. Wub 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 wub. a job she needs doing. You up for some work? What is it? That depends on what Arya has in mind. Arya's gotten word that some blood-packed mercs plan to kill an old acquaintance of hers. A Krogan named Patriot. Oh, we know that dude. She'd like you to keep that from happening. Uh, why do they want to do that? He's not, like, in charge? <laughs> What's the blood pack's problem with Patriarch? If you've met Patriarch, you know. He can't keep his damn mouth shut. Some people don't appreciate his stories. Especially when he dips into non-fiction. <laughs> oh, I like the way he said that. Especially when he dips into non-fiction. What's Arya's interest in protecting him? She likes him. Patriarch was one of her deadliest enemies back in the old days. Now she keeps what's left of him around as a trophy. As long as he lives, he's a perfect example of what happens when you go up against Arya. I got the feeling from what Patriarch was saying that it was more than that. That they had some kind of respect for each other or something, but I mean, maybe not. Arya does seem kind of ruthless. Why come to me? Arya's usual muscle not up for the job? Because Arya said so. What other reason do you need? Well, I'd like to hear the real reason. People like Arya don't do things without a damn good reason. I want to hear it. Fine, but I didn't tell you this. Got me? If it gets out that Arya's protecting Patriarch, well, that can look like a weakness. And some people might want to exploit that. You're not on her payroll, so you helping Patriarch just seems like a random act of kindness. Makes sense. I'll do it. I'll look into it. Good. Patriarch's downstairs, likely surrounded by his fans. Get him into hiding until the mercs move on. Come back here when it's done, and you'll get your due. I'll be back when the job is done. Good luck. Find the Patriarch in one of the side rooms downstairs and tell him he needs to hide. Alright, uh, do we reckon if we do the Patriarch thing first, maybe Arya will have dialogue for us about us helping him? So maybe we should make sure to do that first? That's what I'm thinking. That is what I'm thinking. Anything new from you? Hello again, Commander. I have to go. Of nope. course. <laughs> you must have more important things to do. I sure do. The attack on the human colony of Freedom's Progress has generated a swift but confused response. Eight vessels have been sent, but it is not clear whether there are survivors. All right. Uh. Hello. Get it, girl. Oh, 
It doesn't loop around. I thought it was a circle. It's not. It's a U. Was he down here? I think he was down here, right? Here he is. Anything else in the room? No. Not like you know. You again. Greetings. Is this one new? I feel like this one might be new. Rumor has it some people want you dead. Yep. Know anything about that? Well, I can think of a few. I know things. Old secrets, old grudges. A few floors you can dig up to find bodies underneath. And someone who wanted to weaken Arya might come after me. They do it to get to her, you see. Not for me. I don't know if any more have enemies of my own. Aww. I think that's the only new one. I feel like we heard the rest of these. Some people want you dead. I've been asked to move you to safety. Well, of course. Arya wouldn't want me hurt. It would make her look bad. Perhaps Arya's reputation is no longer my concern. Perhaps I will stay. See who thinks me important enough to kill. Yeah, maybe not. Here's an idea. Let me handle the assassins for you. And so your name grows, while I remain an old man who lets others fight his battle. No. You remain a powerful warlord with forces at his command. Not just Arya's trophy. Well, you could be. You could be my Krant. Fighting for my honor. Your crant? If you would do this for me, I would be grateful. I might even be a Krogan again. Alright. Find the thugs in or near afterlife and kill them. <laughs> you return. I've heard nothing of the assassins. Do you have news? Or have you changed your mind? Shall I slink back to the safety of Arya's protection? Interesting. There is now an extra option which is telling him to hide. But... He really wants this. He really wants me to, like, secure victory for him. That would... Hiding would make him feel like he's not a Krogan. Uh, and it would also mean that those assassins are still out there, so... I should be gone. Let's go and take them down. Where the fuck would they be, is the question. Oh. <laughs> I found them. Out of our way, human. Looking for someone? You here for Patriarch? What if we are? You gonna do something about it? Yup. Patriarch sent us. Said to do whatever it takes. Your Patriarch's crap. I wasn't aware the old man had one. You should have done your homework. Easy. Never in doubt. Get fucked on. Easiest fucking kills of my life. Those Krogan would never have made it in Mass Effect 1. <laughs> you killed them all. Everyone knows that the Patriarch is not to be crossed. Thanks to you, Arya may think of me as more than a trophy. A real advisor, maybe. Or even a threat. Good luck, man. Use this. Don't ever let anyone think you're weak again. Thanks to you, I am a Krogan. By the way, be careful with Arya. Will approve of what you've done, I think. But not of you altering the balance of Omega. I think it reminds her too much of herself. Cool. Find Grizz. Is he the guy that I got the quest from in the first place? Wob 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 wob. <laughs> Huge wobs. Monumental wabbage. Arya wants 
to speak with you. She heard you took on the Blood Pack assassins yourself. I wouldn't keep her waiting. Nothing to see here. I. Suck, girl. Word has it that Patriarch's Krant took out the men set here to kill him. Funny, I didn't know he had a Krant. <laughs> He's stronger than you knew. Patriarch has more influence than you thought. I see. Well, maybe I should watch my back then. It's not what I asked, but you got the job done. Do you need something else? Uh... Is any of this new? Arya before Omega? Are we friendly enough to talk about who you were before Omega? You're reaching back centuries, Shepard. Long before anything that should matter to you. So why keep it secret? No reason, from your perspective. But there are plenty of people out there with long memories. I've had a few careers. A few names. Commando training, mercenary leanings. I've kept what was valuable and dropped the baggage. You're afraid to talk? I thought you were in charge. Why so scared of your past? I have nothing to fear on Omega. That doesn't mean I want to broadcast my past to the galaxy. You'd be surprised how long some entities can hold a grudge. This little exercise with Patriarch? A footnote. Not even the first Krogan I've pissed off. Interesting. People were saying in the comments when we met Arya that uh, she might be the mercenary that we heard uh, Rex tell a story about fighting her. And that certainly seems to lead into that theory. You're important, but also isolated. No other allies out there to back you up? I lean toward a particular type of work. It tends to encourage professional rivalry. Sometimes you'd rather disappear than be forced to kill someone. You couldn't have started here with nothing. You must have been someone important. I've always been important, even if others didn't recognize it. So yes, I had money to start this operation. I also had creditors who thought they were more entitled to it. I let them chase a ghost, or several. It's relatively easy to outlive a solarium, but not their record keeping. Huh. All right, I'll drop it. Interesting. Good to learn more about her. Better luck next time. We definitely did Indifference about Shepard. We definitely did Arya and the Patriarch. Actually, did we do Arya and the Patriarch, or did we learn everything about that from Patriarch himself? It sounds like you and Patriarch have a history. Our history is Omega's history. Long, bloody, and always ending in my favor. The details are complicated. When I arrived, Omega was lawless, a land of opportunity. I built I'm just going to let this play because I can't remember if we've who wouldn't get in line, heard this. Lost. But Patriarch, he was something different. A powerful friend. Huh, no, I don't think we have heard this, actually. So you weren't enemies? The way he told it. He was running the place, you came in, fucked him over and took it. I mean, it seems like you were, you did fuck him over, but... Hmm. I'm surprised you were ever anything but rivals. We were allies for a hundred years. I suppose he decided that was long enough. It wasn't a surprise when he turned. He controlled the muscle, my people contributed more subtle action. Espionage, politics, assassination. Fortunately for me, his men had become accustomed to certain benefits of working with Asari. <laughs> Such as? Superior intel? Assassination? That's cute. No, I took advantage of certain skills my people try to downplay. Patriarch's men abandoned him in droves. In the end, we fought face to face on this very spot. Toughest fight of my life. But of course I won. Interesting. That is uh, a very different story to the way Patriarch tells it. I wonder who uh, who's telling the truth. Patriarch doesn't sound like something an Asari would come up with. I found it humorous. He wanted power. And we pretended he had it with a word that doesn't exist for my people. 
I eventually found a certain respect for the title and the man. So you kept him around as a trophy? I did. A trophy and an example. Whenever someone thought about taking me on, I pointed them to Patriarch. Dignity is one of the few commodities not available on Omega. Interesting, but let's move on. <laughs> Do you need something else? Interesting. Uh, we definitely would have heard about Omega. So, take a look at this data pad. This data pad was on one of the mercs that was after Archangel. They were coming for you next. Let me see. Interesting. Would someone like to tell me how this information slipped the net? I'll, I'll, I'll look into it. You've done a lot for me, Shepard. Let me return the favor. Oh, yeah? We're sending your coordinates to a cache on an uncharted world. You want it? It's yours. Huh. I'm curious why I would say no to that. Huh. What possible reason? Is it because it's like illegal weapons or something, or...? I'm really curious. I'm gonna say much appreciated. But that feels wrong. I don't know. I don't know. We can use any help we can get. Whatever you find is yours to deal with. Hmm, that's a weird one. Thanks. Maybe I'll come back later. Maybe Why it's just because she's a criminal? In the meantime, you look like you need to loosen up a little. So maybe it's just like any accepting any help from her would be considered a bad thing in the game's logic? I don't know. You wanna talk? Is it just me or are you getting better looking? <laughs> little uh little unsure on that one. Right, so what have we got? N7 Eclipse Smuggling Depot. Detected on planet Daratar. Cerberus would pay good money for any cargo recovered from the site. Sure. Is the Omega Nebula where we are right now? I think we're done with Omega for now, right? I do believe. Messages? No messages for you, Commander. Well, thanks for answering the question. I don't suppose just like, because that wasn't an actual main mission thing. That was just like a side thing. Do we reckon people will have new dialogue for that kind of thing? I guess let's just check with the dude right here. Commander, can I help you with something? I'm more interested in just talking for a bit. Already? I'm not big on forcing these talks, Shepard. Hmm? Let's do this later. What do you think of the state of the crew? Well, we don't have a full complement. Yeah, this is know, this is the same, right? We'll talk later. Commander. I'm like 99% sure. Let's just check Morden as well. Shepard, how can I help? Have you got a minute to talk? Some other time. About to test new bioweapon. Not on us, of course. Didn't think I had to specify, but Joker got nervous. Huh? <laughs> Anything else? I'll let you work. We'll be here if you need me. Okay, so no. No new dialogue after uh, little side mission bits and bobs like that. I wonder if I still need to feed the fish. I guess I'll do that just in case. I, I'm not sure if I have to feed fish like every time I leave the ship. Oh, whatever. It takes like five seconds. <laughs> okay, so...
let's leave this bad boy. Um, so, is it going to say here? Secure smuggled cargo? I think it was this, right? I do believe. I do believe it was this. Zero sun. No, I'm right here. <laughs> awesome. Right, we've never been here before. Let's have a look. Oloken. Sky harvest. Uh, moderate. People were saying that uh, I should just do... Just grab planets when they're rich. Uh, and then I can leave everything else. So... I'm going to go ahead and do that. Aganju. Anything interesting there? Not particularly. What have we got? Good. I mean, good is tempting, but... If rich is all we need, then we may as well just wait for rich. Uh, is there anything out? Oh, no, wait. I was just looking if there was anything on the outer ring, but I guess that's just like a... That's not actually a ring, it's just showing you the border of the place, I suppose. Uh, it's within the frost line of its solar system where icy cored gas giants do not usually form. For this reason, it's believed to be an extra solar planet captured by its star's gravity. Moderate. Garden worlds, agriculture, large solarian colony is trying to restore biodiversity to the planet. And this is just good. Ah, I see. I was... Wait, 80% is the last thing the, the ship here? This is one of the dossiers, I think. Owned by the notorious Blue Suns Mercenary Company, the Purgatory was once an Ark ship used to hold agricultural animals. Now it's used to hold prisoners, whether taken in battle or sold by unscrupulous politicians under the name of subcontracting and outsourcing. Rumours abound that the Blue Suns turned skilled or fit prisoners over to Batarian slavers, but few have ever seen the transaction and lived to tell about it. Its population is listed at 4,350, but independent journalists estimated it's nearly three times that in periods of overcrowding. Cool, cool. Uh, that's 100%. Nice, nice. Let's go over to fire then. Actually, I guess we should stock up on probes just in case. Uh, wait, I cannot buy probes. The buy probes option is greyed out. Oh, wait, no. It's not greyed out. It looks like it's greyed out. But I just pressed it to see and it let me do it anyway. So. Strange. <laughs> sure. Right. It is up in the top right. How much fuel will we use to get there? From 1,000 down to... You can coast just a little bit. So that was essentially a quarter of my fuel getting up here. Does everywhere have a fuel depot? Huh, it actually doesn't look like there's a fuel depot here. So I wonder what happens if you use all your fuel and you can't get back from a place that doesn't have a fuel depot. Curious. What have we got? Anictra. Da da da. Frequent meteor impacts. Exploration's highly dangerous even to those with advanced kinetic barriers. Oh, we've got a rich. Oh, baby, we have a rich. Doesn't look like it gets much better than right around there. Probe launched. Very nice. There's like a huge amount of... Oh, there we go. Probe away. You can now afford the Inferno armor. whoop de whoop Oh my goodness, that might be the largest spike I've ever seen. Launching probe. 
Well, it's gone from rich down to good. I wonder, when people said I should only do rich, did they mean... Did they mean do rich and deplete it? Like, all the way through rich, good, moderate, etc.? Or did they mean just do it while it says rich and then leave and don't bother with the good? Not sure. So, I think I'll keep going. Hmm. There's quite heavy rumbling around here, but barely any movement on the, uh, on the actual graph. Curiously enough. Oh. Hey, oh. Launching probe. You know what, I do actually, people were debating whether this is a good feature or just fucking annoying when we first came across it, and I wasn't sure where I stood, and I think in small bursts, I, I, I kind of like it. Probe away. Like, if I was doing a ton of it in a row, then yeah, I'd probably get tired of it, but uh, definitely uh, don't really mind. When we're just doing, just doing bits here and there, you know. Can now afford another bit of armor, lovely jubbly. Okay, we're still. It still says good results, but oh. Launching probe. When that green bar for iridium gets filled up, I wonder if I can't collect any more. <laughs> And I have to use it to collect more? Or whether it's just a visual thing and it doesn't actually matter. Man, we've used a lot of probes here, huh? Spiky. Probe launched. Well, I mean, it's full up now, so let's find out. 25818, can I still get more? Probe away. Yeah, I can. So the bar actually means fuck all. Oh wait, did it just jump from good to poor? I thought it had to go through moderate first. Did I just miss it say moderate? I thought it said good that whole time. Okay, let's leave it now that it's poor. That'll do, that'll do. I must have spent a whole lot of probes there. Uh, right, Alingon. Deceptive was so named by Salarian scouts because as their probes landed on the planet, their instruments started going awry. This turned out to be due to the high concentration of magnetically active periclase, periclase, magnesia, in the core and crust of the planet. Interferes with scans and broadcasts. Uh, countless space stories of pirates lying in wait. But really, they'd have a hard time locating prey amongst all the interference and would live lives cut off from the rest of the galaxy. Fair enough. Uh, anything here? Oh shit, it's another rich planet. Absolute scenes. People in shambles. Launching probe. Definitely want to focus on palladium and platinum now, but we've got an absolute fuckload of uh, iridium. Got iridium just fucking falling out of my ass. Probe away. Oh, oh. Away. I mean, I may as well, I guess. I just don't... I don't think I need... Well, maybe I will need a ton for some of the... Because, like, some of the upgrades were, like, one out of five. So, I imagine you probably need a shitload by five out of five. Probe launched. It certainly seems like it is far... Iridium Probe is by launched. far the most... Uh, that you come across, and element zero is by far the least that you come across. Launching probe. Oh, there's a spike around here. Where's best? About there. 
Move away. Launching probe. Strong rumbling all around here, but I can't find a particularly big spike. There's one. I really want some more of the other stuff, man. It's just like iridium, iridium, iridium. Hmm. Oh, there's some. Probe away. Still rich. Holy fuck. Probe. Yeah, that one really didn't give us much there. <laughs> like, it says it's rich still, but like, I'm struggling to find any decent spikes now. Probe launched. That was not worth it, for example. That get oh, hello, what the fuck? Where did you come from? Away. Yeah, see that one was a huge spike on the graph and it gave us about 3,000, whereas the previous one was a pretty tiny spike on the graph and only gave us a few hundred. So it definitely, like, the difference between a big spike and a little spike is, is a huge amount of resources. Alright, let's leave it at moderate. Do, 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 do. People in absolute shambles everywhere as they realize that we're going to be looking at planets for the rest of the episode. <laughs> Nephros. Restless sleep. Uh, sounds like an absolute lovely place. Oh, thank God it's only moderate. I don't have to do it. <laughs> Wenrum. Wenrum White Knight takes its name from a Salarian story in the Romantic period of a knight who refused all temptation to riches, carnality, and even flavorful food. Imagine turning down flavorful food until justice was served to the poor and oppressed. The planet is so named because of its white, highly reflective surface, composed mainly of titanium dioxide and ice and no atmosphere to speak of to dim its albedo. Oh no! <laughs> Absolute shambles. Oh god. Gonna run out of fucking probes in a minute. Gonna have to toddle off back to uh, the starting system. Buy more. Ah, oh, now that is what I like to see. That's what gets me up in the morning. Probe away. Probe away. Hello. Oh, real platinum hours. Oh my goodness. Launching probe. Now afford the Thanix cannon. Hang on, have we got any? Oh! Probe launched. Ezo, never heard of it, mate. Who even is Ezo? Sure. I'll cop one of them and now we are out of probes. I guess that'll do for now. Unless this is also a rich planet. <laughs> Tunfegal. Noted for its platinum, platinum and uranium deposits, making robo mining a lucrative activity. The Salarian mine is exploiting the planet diversely, uh, derisively. Der derisively? With derision, nickname planets such as these Elcor tourist traps. Wait, I missed why. <laughs> I was just skim reading. Uh, surface temperature is well within the range of a comfortable EVA excursion. The extremely dense tongue tongue fig, fig gel generates a dangerous gravitational pull five times that of Earth. Right. Right, Elcor. That, that is like Elcor planets. Right, that's the thing. 
Oh, fuck, it's rich. Well, I've got to go get more probes then, because uh, otherwise I will forget what I have and have not scanned, right? Because it gives you the percentage once you've just looked at the planet. It doesn't, like, the percentage. I wouldn't remember that this one is one that I haven't bled dry. So unless I do it now, then we're going to have parts later on where I'm just desperately searching systems for rich planets that I missed. Which is just going to be a bad time. So, we've got to go and stock back up. And coast. Oh, no, shit. Oh, you hate to see that. You really hate to see that. My stick flicks. When I let go of the stick, it flicks back up too far. So, the fucking Normandy does a 180 and starts going the opposite direction. Uh, right, yes, let's just fill up. I'm back up to uh, over 100k, that was fast. Cool, cool, and back up we go. Do, do, do. Choo, choo. Okay, it was tongue for gal. Yeet. Where was that? Where was that? There it is. Probe away. And again. We love to see it. Oh, this is just planet of the fucking palladium. Probe away. It's palladium, ladium, on ton figgle. Launching probe. What? Launching probe. Got any more, uh, got any more platinum for me? Oh, you sure do. Probe Answering away. my prayers. Gone down to good now. Shall we, uh... Oh! That's the first time I've seen a three, I think. That's got me uh, bits of bits of everything there. Probe launched. Alright. That's enough for that place. Because I'm, I'm starting to reach my limit of scanning. <laughs> Quarim. Scorchingly hot, bombarded by comets and shit. Don't be rich, you motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> well, I gotta do it. Away. Otherwise, I will forget. And then when when I need stuff, I won't know away. where to go. Probe launched. Launching probe. Probe away. Probe away. Oh. Probe launched. That is a spicy one. Man, it takes a hell of a long time to deplete rich down to good. Probe launched. I wonder what that quick scan upgrade really does. I'm going to have to get that quick scan upgrade because if it really does make this somehow faster, then I'm I'm living for it. It's probably already been answered in the comments by uh <laughs> by the time this is uploaded, uh but has not been answered by the time this is recorded, so... Uh, I mean, sure, that gets me a bit of all. Not really worth. Probe launched. You can now afford the emergency shielding research project. Oh. That's the, uh... 
Wait, is that the one that I can't get yet because I need uh That's the one where when your shields deplete they have a chance to instantly refill, right? But I can't actually research that yet because I need not more damage protection or something. Uh, I think is how it works. Right, last place. Cerberus hotspot detected. The planet Daratar in the Faryar system is a suspected eclipse smuggling site. Cerberus is interested in obtaining the materials kept at this site. Operatives will be paid handsomely for any intact crates retrieved from the site. Be aware that Eclipse would rather see the cargo destroyed than lose it to a rival organization. Payment will be made once the acquisition of undamaged crates is verified. Huh. So we're just going to be dropped into an area with a ton of these crates and the enemies are going to be trying to destroy them and I need to kill the enemies as fast as I can to get the maximum amount of cash? Is that where they're going with that? Oh, thank god it's not rich. That sounds like where they're going from that. Alright, let's do it. Who are we taking? We are taking... Best Boy Garrus. And... Do we think Morden would be good for this? Maybe Miranda? Uh, Miranda, you must have some points to use. You do have some points to use. Oh, she actually gives... Oh, that's interesting. It's not just personal for her. She actually gives squad health and squad weapon damage up. Curious. Curious. Probably just going to give her overload rank 3, though. Yeah. Going to do that. Uh, you were saving up for concussive shots. I'm saving up for charge. Let's -a go. Right, going to be fighting mechs, it looks like. Destroy heavy mechs. Stop the heavy mechs before they destroy the valuable smuggled cargo. All right, all right, okay. Uh, so, Garrus is using the battle rifle. Probably good. Effective against armor shields and biotic barriers. Yep, that does sound pretty good. You've only got two types of pistol. Shit. I think I fucked up. I think you're supposed to have something else. And I should have chosen it, and I didn't. Or something. Maybe she only does have pistols, but I feel like I fucked up by not. Hmm. Oh well, we'll be fine. This is weak against shields and barriers, but effective against armor. And this is the opposite. So I guess it depends what the mechs have. Some of them have both, right? But I think mainly it's armor. Well, I guess we'll see. Um, my shotgun is effective against all of them. This is a, this is armor. Okay, okay. Uh, as for powers, I should... Oh, right, I've got the shockwave thing now. Nice. I should use my incendiary ammo. Uh, that's mapped. What do we want for you? Overload or concussive shot? Uh, synthetic enemies, so let's go with overload. Sounds good, sounds good. I should really take this off. Let me let me map that to right bumper. Because I don't need that. Like, I'm never... You know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> Intact crates remaining out of 20. Oh, fuck. I see you, Shepard. Oh, God, they've got shields and everything. Okay, okay. Uh, uh, shit. I'm panicking. I, I'm already panicking. Not good. Okay, you can go like that. Oh my god, that didn't do fucking anything. I'm gonna go like this. Gee, I don't... What? Okay. Am I not supposed to be here? I'm suddenly feeling like I'm not supposed to be here.
Miranda, can I give you anything? No, I actually can't. I mean, maybe it is just they're going to destroy a fuckload of crates, but it... I don't know. Maybe I'm just supposed to sit back and do it slowly, but with the amount of health they have, they're going to destroy, like, all the fucking crates. We've been spotted. Guess that's just how it is? Wait, is this the one that's actually good against shields? Fuck, this is the one that's weak against shields. And then I need to swap back to this one. Because this one's good against armor. This should slow him down. What the fuck? Watch out! Felt that one. Okay, he's still gonna be on shields, right? Oh shit! I'm on it. Attacking target. Damn, he knocked me straight out of cover. Oh, that's why my fucking thing isn't working. God damn it. It's because it undid the power map. I'm like pressing right bumper. I'm like, why is it not? Why is it not doing it? <laughs> God damn it. Oh, I've been using warp on them, but I really should have been using overload, I guess. Well, this is effective against both. I suppose it's fine. Oh, and I'm out of ammo for that? Shit. Okay, there are many left. Oh, that was it. Okay, we got 11. Is 11 bad? <laughs> how many, when you guys did this mission, how many were left? I honestly... Oh, hello. Nice, nice. Let's be a bit more thorough in exploring then, because I was literally about to exit out. When you guys did this mission, how many did you get? I was expecting it to be like tons of little dudes. And you had to take down a ton of dudes. And then it was like just a couple of huge dudes. Had to perform another full maintenance check. Sand keeps getting into our equipment. Increasing the frequency of system checks. We have to be ready to shut this place down if someone spots us from orbit. Sure. Sure. Anything else for us to pick up? Oh, there's something over here. Security systems. Enemy ship spotted in orbit. IFF ID confirmed Cerberus. Beginning farewell protocol. Engaging security systems. Destroy command received. Cleanup routine. Bunch of stuff. Refined element zero. Oh my goodness. Imagine leaving and not having picked that up. That would have been sad times. That would have been truly devastating times. Cool. I think we're good. I wish I could have saved more. And I mean, you could totally save scum and keep trying it until you do get more, but it's fine. Cool. We got a level. Sweet. Boom. 11 were saved, got 5 grand, bit of ezo, lovely jubbly, lovely jubbly governor.